Hey guys, Kid Guru here for the new Tech World Challenge video, and uh, I know the extension, like I said, of the challenge has been extended to the end of really end of December. I want to get a, lo a couple videos out on the TWC, uh, just more on you know tools and etc. that can really help you out there on the web. So uh, first, what I'm gonna, actually what I'm going to show you today is Google Docs. I've been going down the whole thing. I've gone through Gmail, I've gone through a Reader, stuff like that. So I want to talk a little bit about Docs. Docs is if you have a Gmail account, I'm logged into the Kid Guru Center account right now. Uh, so basically, I have some stuff here, and um, Google Docs is really powerful. One, uh, it can be useful in a couple ways. Uh, as of recent, they actually have added PDFs too, so I'm going to talk about that. But um, I'm not added it, but okay. Hang on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you don't have like a word processor, like Word or anything like that, and you really don't like writing a Notepad, uh, then you can try Google Docs out. But what makes Docs even better is it's all stored in the cloud, so you can access anywhere. You can access your Gmail account. You can access your your saved, you know, documents. That way, even if you had, uh, you know, Word, you would have to save it to a pen drive or upload it somewhere. Docs does it all for you. It has a really nice interface. So first off, let's go new. Now I'll go through each thing real quick. I'll make a new document and new presentation. So it does everything about everything pretty much Office does. It doesn't have as many features, but it has you know a good amount. So here is your title. You can already put anything in here. Now this is really great, not for you know for notes, for reminders, for anything like that, for anything you need to send. So you can just you know type away test for TWC, and you know I can save that, change the font, do a lot of stuff as like, tools, check spelling, clear formatting, insert pictures. If you know, it's, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, you can really uh, do in this. It's a you know, it's pretty much a, pr a pretty packed web browser for the uh, for being on the web. Then you can share it, so you can email it, email to uh, attachments. You can have certain people. What I do, I have a collaborative, so I can have certain people view the document. So if you're working in an enclosed environment, like I have a staff, so what I do, I I you know, I let some people view the document so they can edit it. Especially stuff like spreadsheets, it's really useful. They can either finish working, you know, help you working with it, correct errors, stuff like that. So it's a pretty packed word processor. Look at and looking at the. Uh, presentation you can really do pretty good slideshows from the web uh, you can you know insert text video shapes import slides you know like power if you have a PowerPoint document you can uh, import it here and then just you know save it uh, on your Gmail account or your Google Docs change the theme various themes here pretty good themes so if, even if you want to make your own you know presentation now this is good for showing people in your Gmail contacts and like again your enclosed uh, environment and stuff like that so it's really packed as well okay so let's close that one and spreadsheets uh, replacing Excel has you know everything you can really really uh, really need to make a basic you know spreadsheet or anything you need to do banking uh, you know just numbers you need to crunch within uh, I should not I was about to say Excel but uh, spreadsheets for Google Docs it's really really he has a uh, formula bar really packed, like I said, and this is all run off the web. And like I said, you can just save it, and you can access it any computer anywhere as long as you have access to your Gmail account. You can go ahead and try that. And they even have new features if you want to check out new features for uh, Google Docs. They have like you know Google Labs, which are beta features. Change rules, colors, everything. It's really really packed. Add more sheets, stuff like that. So okay, so and they also added. You can add uh, folders, so if you have certain folders you want to organize, start items, which you can you know, share via RSS, items by type, you can make PDFs, stuff like that, uh, form, let's go to form. And form is the last thing they've also added, which is really, I found really, really uh, helpful. Uh, so you can make your own form uh, to send to people, like entitled question, help text, question type, check boxes. So if you want to make a form, like an online contact form, you can make it all through here, and then, you know, you can make their answer come up right here mark or make this required make a required requ question I should say sorry uh really really nice web interface very easy to maneuver very easy to you know find your way around and easy to invite people in so add questions text paragraphs multiple choices very very easy so going back to the uh interface you'll have all your documents here open by me all items uh, so this today would have done star the items earlier this year hide items move to you can move in certain places share it so if I was to click share on this untitled document I can do as collaborators or as viewers so I can they can just view it and, like they don't have right access collaborators will you know be able to uh, you know edit it stuff like that really really powerful tool uh, just if you want to ever you know want to share 
your office documents or any notes around with people that you work closely with or just people in general friends check out google docs guys it'll help you in your whole experience towards the web and you know creating your online presence thanks for watching guys uh stay tuned for the next google video coming up